The Football Association have launched a national football philosophy which depicts Ghana's football DNA. This follows a research by the technical directorate and input from technocrats, national and clubs, coaches, administrators, players, referees, supporters, coach instructors, coach educators, politicians, women in football, sports, media personalities, among others. On Pinstow, Laya Kingston, Yusuf Chipsa, goalkeeper's trainer of the Black Stars, Richard Kingston, Godwin Atram, Yao Preko, and other host former footballers were also present. Bernard Lepet, technical director of the Football Association, gave an overview and insights of what went into identifying Ghana's football DNA. Very, very necessary to meet the trends of modern football and bring it together with our characteristic of football, which we try to find out through a survey which we did with 200 people, Ghanaians, football-related Ghanaians, and bring this DNA together and meet also the big, big changes of football in the last 20, 30 years. If you see now a football match from 1990, 1980, you think you, you look a slow motion. So football changed dramatically, but still the powers of football, let's say Italy, Germany, they they still have their essential characteristic of their, of their football culture. The Germans are always still good organized, good structured, very disciplined. The, the Italian football, they, you see a lot of matches who end only 1-0 because they are almost unbreakable in the defense. And these are signs of their DNA, and we try to find out our DNA, and uh, I will tell you now how we did this. The Ghana football DNA identifies how we play, the current trends in football, the areas to strengthen, and how to get to where we want to be with our game. Keto Craig, who the FA president during the launch, also gave an input on how the football philosophy will improve our game. Indeed, drawing on imaginary from the fields of genetics, we have christened this publication, Ghana's Football DNA. Indeed, it refers to its unique generic codes and spe specific sets of instructions through which it functions. It is that by which a thing is specifically recognized. My colleagues here in Gardet, over the years, like I said earlier, there have been references to Ghana's brand of football. And I recall, in clear terms, examples such as the multi system that was coined by our celebrated late national coach, Sam Ade, of blessed memory and agro coined by many a Ghanaian and in recent times championed by the legendary Professor Mohammed Ahmed Polo. We have also heard about the Brazilian samba. We hear about the German machine. We hear about the Catenaccio. Indeed, these are but a few examples of how nation states have built identities for their football. As we, as the Ghana Football Association, have said, time without number, the fundamentals of our football need to be strengthened if we are to take our rightful place amongst football's nations of the world. It is in this vein that the idea to identify the trends or the threats of our football DNA was conceived. Today marks the birth 
of a new baby for Ghana football. The Ghana Football DNA will be the coaching and playing philosophy of Ghana football. Chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Youth, Honorable Jenny Mboatin, thanked the FA for identifying the country's football DNA. I believe DNA is everything. It's one thing we don't take seriously in, the, in our part of the world, but understanding why we do things the way we do them is very important. So I'm happy you are, you are, you are trying to understand what our DNA is. You didn't actually, I don't want to go into the details of your presentation, but I didn't get the the real definition of it, but I realize the president mentioned characteristics of what you're talking about. But maybe you have to... Well, the, the, I thought we would get one catch word to, to take away and say, well, our DNA is reflected in this. You mentioned the multi-system, the uh, agro and all that. I thought the fusion would bring out something that you also want to reflect on, but it's something, it's work in progress. So thank you very much. And we're going to have a look at it our policy position will be, we'll, we'll comment on it, the members are here, we'll have meetings relating to this particular, and then we'll, we'll come out with our own position. But thank you very much, Mr. President. It's a, it's, a, it's a move in the right direction. We are very grateful. The document will be implemented throughout all technical education in the country. Oh.